Hello again, everyone. I want to welcome you to number 205 Linwood Drive in Greenville, PA. This two-story brick colonial is located in Hemfield Township on a dead-end street. As I enter the front door, you will notice we have a formal foyer with open staircase. And as with typical colonials, we have living room and dining room to the left and right of the home. This dining room has a built-in china in the corner, as well as hardwood floors. The living room is to the right of the front entry door and has a fireplace with dental molding. There is crown molding in the living room. There is a wonderful bay window that overlooks the rear yard, patio, and pool area of the home. Alongside the fireplace, you will notice storage for books and games, whatever it is you want to store. This closet door holds card tables. This exit door will take you to the backyard patio and just inside that door for convenience is a powder room. Directly in front of me is the basement door. We will go there last. To my right, had you come in the front door and gone straight away, that is your closet, your coat closet. Entering the kitchen, we have a pantry. We have a crisp white kitchen. Some of the cabinets are glass so that you may put your collectibles there and view them. We have a center island with cooktop. We have a nice kitchen sink that overlooks the rear yard, as well as built-in double ovens, an eat-in section of the kitchen that also overlooks the pool and rear yard, the second set of stairs that comes down from the upstairs from the game room. To the rear of the home, we have a wonderful family room addition with hardwood floors, patio doors that exit to the patio and pool, brick fireplace with built-ins for storage, an exit door also to the side yard of the home, and the beam ceilings in keeping with the Williamsburg feel of the colonial. Back in the kitchen and across, I will take you to the second front entry door, which is also the entry from the garage. This is a two stall attached garage that is heated. So it does stay warm and so do your vehicles. If you were to come home and enter that door from your garage, to your immediate left, you have a coat closet, as well as additional storage for gloves, boots, whatever you may need to store. And you would come straight into your kitchen and easily deposit your groceries. There are six panel wood doors in this home. And I'm going back through the dining room to give you the opposite view. Going back to my original place of entry, which is the front foyer, and then up the stairs. I wanted to take you up the main set of stairs and then down the game room stairs as we exit. Directly in front of me, you will find the main bath on the second floor with dual closet or dual sinks, tub shower surround and Corian. There is a sliding door here to my right at the top of the stairs. And the first bedroom to my left is like a fourth bedroom, but the last family that lived here used this bedroom as a closet and dressing room because directly across from it is the master bedroom with dual closets, hardwood floors, and a full bath with a 
a standing shower. So if you do not need to have four bedrooms, easily that fourth bedroom becomes the closet directly across from the master. Taking you back into the upper hall, we have linen storage, another bedroom, this one done in a pretty blue, the fourth bedroom, which connects you to the upper game room. On my right is a large cedar closet. Directly in front of me, had you entered the back stairs from the kitchen, and it would be to your right, coming from the kitchen and up the stairs, is the game room, which easily fits a pool table, an additional air hockey table, couch, could have a theater room, whatever your family enjoys. And off of that, we have an additional powder room on the second level. So taking you back down the stairs, you will notice the flow in this home is absolutely marvelous. I am now back in the kitchen. I'm going to walk across the kitchen this time and take you to the basement, which is off the foyer, directly underneath the main stairs. And then of course we have a set of stairs which takes us to our basement area. And to my immediate left, I'm going to call this a craft room. It's just closets after closets for storage or for whatever it is that you enjoy if you do work with crafts. Behind this one is the electric panel box. Circling around, we find another fireplace. So that makes three fireplaces in this home. And this space could easily become a home office or education space. In the far corner, we have a workshop area. And this section has an exit door to outside, to the rear yard and patio. And then across from it, is another powder room. So there are several entrances from the rear yard into the home that could make it easy for when you have company and the pool is open. The utility area of the basement houses the washer dryer hookup, the hot water tank, as well as the boiler. Thank you for watching my video of 205 Linwood Drive in Greenville, PA. Please share this video and help me sell this home.